In news out of Havana today, a representative from the United Nations continues her tour of the communist island as part of an investigation into human trafficking. Plus, Venezuela's president, Nicolas Maduro, remains in Havana as riots intensify in the streets of Caracas. Our Hatzel Vela reports from Havana. It is day two for United Nations Special Envoy in Cuba. Maria Grazia Giamarinaro is visiting the island to investigate the issue of human trafficking. She is the first UN official to visit Cuba in a decade. She'll be meeting with Cuban authorities, key people and groups to figure out what progress Cuba has made when it comes to trafficking for sexual and labor exploitation. She'll be looking at measures in place and those plan to prevent future trafficking. In addition to Havana, she will be visiting other provinces like Matanzas and Artemisa. And on Friday, we expect a press conference to take place where she will be discussing her preliminary findings. Ya hoy lo podemos decir. Also in town, Venezuela's president, Nicolás Maduro, made an appearance at the ongoing ALBA conference made up of ministers representing countries like Cuba, Venezuela, Nicaragua, and others. The left-wing alliance was formed by former Venezuelan president Hugo Chavez as a counter to the Organization of American States. In his speech, Maduro accused the Trump administration of being behind recent street demonstrations in Venezuela as the country's economic crisis continues to deepen. Estos focos violentos y esta derecha que representa el anticristo de esta época. The violence, he says, is a direct result of orders right-wing extremists are getting from the U.S. State Department aimed at destabilizing the left-wing government and forcing change in power. I'm Hatsovella, Local 10 News, Havana. Okay.